Hey guys, welcome back for another Cinema 4D tutorial. And today I'm gonna be. It's another Voronoi fracture video, but uh, this one is actually how you can use a MoGraph effector. So in this case, I use the random effector to trigger the um, dynamics tag for the collapse of a bridge or whatever so you can use effectors for this I know I uh, I have the one video where I use uh, objects with collider tags and I use the and then I just animate those and you can um, make things collapse this way but you can also use uh, effectors so there was a few people in in the comments on a couple of videos uh, explaining, roughly explaining it. So I I'm just messing around. I don't know everything, but um, I'll I'll show you what I do know. So I took, and actually I'll well I'll press play at first. And what I did is I just keyframed a, a random effector to go through this cube and um, it kind of explodes there at the corner on the edge but then once it gets closer to the middle um, it's more of a uh, collapse and because we're using the connectors we get some of these um, nice big pieces that collapse as a whole instead of falling into these tiny little pieces and I'm not using that many um, pieces either for this cube I think I got maybe like a thousand or something whereas if you're rendering you can really crank that up to get some better uh, effects but so the so it just goes through here and it just triggers the collapse of wherever the uh, effector goes through and uh, pretty simple uh, setup here that I got uh, I'll show you in a second here I'll let this render so obviously you can go in and you can uh, use the geometry glue and more parts to make these more dynamic uh, pieces because they're pretty standard right now. But all I did was I have my cube, throw a fracture, I threw a connector on there, I cranked the um, breaking force and breaking torque up twice as what it was, and um, I don't have geometry glue on for this one and the effectors is just a random effector and all I did is I I added in a um, a random effector here I just have I don't really know if it matters what the parameters for the position is I just changed those to zero and then minus 100 and then I just changed it to a fall off so that I can keyframe it where I want it to go because if it's infinite everything just explodes which we don't want so we just keep it as a sphere fall off is what I was putting it at and what we do here in our dynamics body tag is I um, set the trigger to add velocity peak so I'm assuming that just means when something um, with enough force moves it it breaks so that's where we use the red up effector and it moves the pieces that it goes over and then it triggers the collapse so that's all I did and then I just have three keyframes here for for my random effector I'm hiding it right now but it's, you can see it's right here and um, as I play it it's uh, just keyframes through the cube it triggers the collapse of our uh, little platform here you can use this for um, as a technique for the bridge one that I was telling you guys earlier um, this has a nice technique too because you can keyframe something from the um, bottom to the top let's say if you're trying to make a column or something fall if you keyframe it from the bottom to the top then um, it looks as if gravity is pulling down the the column as it's collapsing onto itself whereas it's just uh, a keyframe 
All right, guys, I just wanted to show you this this quick little trip on, trick on uh, how to use a MoGraph effector, in this case the random effector, to trigger the collapse of our Voronoi fracture. Hopefully, you guys, you found this useful, and um, hopefully you guys liked the video. I'll see you guys all next time.